there's something about charcoal because it's so tactile and responsive um, and because I've been using it for oh, since our college probably so oh goodness me 30 years so it feels a bit like an extension of my fingers when I'm using it so um, and the the array of different marks you can get with it is brilliant you know and it's um, you can be quite soft and sensitive with it but also very bold and um, you can cover big areas with a big kind of uh, arch of your shoulder <laughs> and the rag so I love that about it it's got clouds, grasses, water um, stones humans <laughs> everything uh, it just That's... seems like the perfect medium to me areas that I want to remain white and I will just purposefully leave them untouched um, so I have to be quite sort of disciplined about that so for instance with the water or the clouds um, but then so there's that so it's kind of just completely leaving it um, the negative white space but then there's also kind of carving it back again <laughs> which you can do with charcoal, it's the magic of charcoal. Recently, been reading about Vincent Van Gogh, well, reading some of his correspondences with his, you know, the famous letters with his brother, and he says he's trying to just um, work on trying to capture capture a figure in three or four strokes. <laughs> so this is so I've kind of got that in my mind now, trying to um, be as economical as possible with the marks. Um, and I suppose I think about Rembrandt's drawings of people as well as Hokusai and um, yeah just it's a great discipline to try and draw fast um, and to draw uh, especially figures that are in movement and in life drawing we do um, we always start off with three minute poses which I'll be doing tonight so um, that's I mean people get a bit annoyed about it <laughs> because it's hard it's so hard but um, it's almost like the thinking part of your brain just switches off and it becomes instinctive. I am very lucky that um, I suppose growing up in a fairly bohemian household, they, you know, with lots of artists and um, musicians and so on, um, it wasn't seen as like a terribly scandalous that I wanted to go to art college because I had friends that whose families maybe wouldn't have approved of that. Um, so I feel very fortunate that I was encouraged um, to pursue art as a because it's not necessarily the most um, viable career option is it? <laughs> um, but yes they were very encouraging so I went off to art college after um, leaving um, after doing my A-levels in Belfast. Oh, it's been wonderful, yeah. It's been absolutely wonderful for me to be his illustrator. <laughs> From age five, I think, there was the very first one, and I have a memory of him showing me pictures of lapwings and asking me to do a drawing for the Christmas card, which turned out to be an annual um, event which has gone on now till the age I'm now <laughs> every year so that's how it began and then I suppose in recent years it's um, been pushed uh, to kind of another level because of our collaboration with Andrew Morehouse and his fine press poetry books um, so he approached dad at a reading and um, with this idea of uh, creating a book uh, of uh, a chapbook of um, maybe a dozen or so poems illustrated by somebody and he picked me thankfully <laughs> to do it <laughs> so that's been a real treat and the books are just gorgeous um, and so that's brought me back to doing pen drawings um, which has been really a, a yeah different level of concentration <laughs> but good I've enjoyed it very much uh, a lot based on um, 
Well, it started off with uh, very nature-based poems of uh, about here and Mayo. Uh, it was Sea Asters was the first one, and our latest one has kind of circled back again to <laughs> it's going to be birds and flowers. Uh, but we've also taken in some well, the Holocaust book uh, uh, called Ghetto, um, and the Homer book, Homer's Octopus, and recently, uh, well, the last one was Ovid, uh, all about his dad's Ovid poems, and it was called Metamorphoses. So I'm really pleased. I sent off last week the drawings for the next book. So uh, it's really been a lovely way to uh, be close to Dad and to really kind of dive deeply into his poems. Um, but so it also there have been charcoal drawings that have um, developed from the pen drawings um, and uh, even the big oil painting of Laertes. The annual show at the RUA, which is a really fantastic, big, um, open exhibition um, with, so they have open submissions and then members are allowed to exhibit one or two pieces. So this year um, I've been a member, I think maybe four years now, so I've been very lucky so I can um, exhibit my work um, in the RUA annually in this show. So this year it's a big charcoal drawing. Um, uh, all about Laertes, a poem which my dad wrote from Homer <laughs> about the reunion between Odysseus and his father Laertes. So I've got a charcoal drawing, which you know, I think, <laughs> so that's going into the RUA. So I think it's probably, well, I'd hope it would have a resonance with people for anyone that's been separated from a loved one and been reunited or well especially with covid